Come and work for CPB contractors, we guarantee you will be treated very poorly and threatened if you do not undertake dangerous and illegal work. CPB proudly breaches workplace health and safety acts to allow us to complete jobs under budget. Safety is not our concern. Complain about safety issues and we will sack you on the spot. Laws do not bother us, we ignore safety laws if there is a dollar to be made. CPB proudly endangering workers for profit for decades. No problem with a few dead or injured workers, as long as we make a good profit. CPB profit before safety is our time-proven motto. CPB contractors sacked workers at their Iron Bridge project for raising safety issues that could have killed multiple people. Concerns were raised to the highest level at CPB and witnesses were ready to provide evidence, but CPB and FMG were not interested. Sack the worker, then get someone else to do the dangerous work. This is the CPB and the Fortescue response to worker safety. Absolutely disgraceful and cowardly approach from the management of CPB at the Iron Bridge project. CPB contractors worked at Iron Bridge for FMG. FMG showed no concern with CPB's illegal activities. FMG were informed numerous times during and after the dangerous incidents and showed no concern for the workers' safety. An official complaint was made through the CIMIC hotline. Of course absolutely nothing was done, the investigation did not even bother speaking to the witnesses provided. The witnesses were on site, the witnesses saw the dangerous work. The witnesses saw the sacking of the worker for raising safety concerns. The witnesses were subject to repeated bullying by CPB management which was reported by numerous people to the CPB safety department on site. One of the witnesses was an FMG employee who reported the issue to FMG. FMG did nothing. So CIMIC's code of conduct is just complete bullshit, just like FMG's code of conduct. They do not care about workers' safety. They do not even investigate complaints where fatalities could have occurred. An Australian scum who should be prosecuted for their failure to act and banned from any work in Australia with Australian workers. So let's quickly look at three jobs. Not one of these jobs is as dangerous as the work CPB tried to force people to do at Iron Bridge. When the CPB managers and supervisors are totally unqualified or unskilled to do the work themselves, it is disgraceful that they bully and try to intimidate people to do the work just because they are behind schedule. It was not the workers' fault that the managers were grossly incompetent bullying thugs who thought they could intimidate people to do the work. The managers should have been sacked, instead they were protected by CPB and FMG. CIMIC was given witnesses who were also bullied by CPB management. CIMIC did not even talk to the witnesses. Every one of these jobs would be acceptable to CPB if it was at Iron Bridge. Do the job our way or you are sacked. Gutless, bullying, incompetent management protected by a company that obviously has no safety standards whatsoever. CPB just talks safety, does not deliver anything. All smoke and mirrors. So do not bother ringing the CPB stop line reporting service. All complaints of illegal activities never go anywhere. CPB and CIMIC do not investigate complaints of illegal or unethical behavior, especially if a few dollars or contract deadlines are involved. Profit before safety is the CIMIC way. A lot more coming with contact details for others who have been affected.